Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've discussed whether suicide is murder, but what about euthanasia? Is it murder? In order to understand the answer to this question, as well as what makes it different from assisted suicide, we need to first know what euthanasia actually is. The dictionary defines euthanasia as the act or practice of killing or permitting the death of hopelessly sick or injured individuals as persons or domestic animals, in a relatively painless way for reasons of mercy. Now, this definition is important because right away it makes clear that at least one type of euthanasia cannot be murder. In episode 89, we established that killing is only murder when it's committed by a person and against a person. This definition establishes that euthanasia can be done against animals. However, animals are not persons. Therefore, when one euthanizes a non-human animal, this is never murder. Another key part of this definition is the beginning. Euthanasia can be either killing an individual directly or permitting the death to happen when one could at least delay it. However, in episode 89, we saw that murder could be done either intentionally or by avoidable negligence. So just because you're not directly killing someone when you euthanize them, it could still be murder by avoidable negligence. This is a bit different from assisted suicide, because in cases of assisted suicide, it's clear that the person wishes to die and is trying to take their own life. In euthanasia, the will of the person isn't always clear. Many times the person is in a coma and unable to give their views on the subject. The two might overlap sometimes, but they're not necessarily the same thing. Now let's run human euthanasia through the same test we ran on suicide. What am I doing? deliberately killing a human being. Is this action wrong by its nature? Yes. Ah well, some moral choices are hard and complex, while others are really very simple, and I guess that once you have the facts, this is really a rather simple one. Most of those who defend euthanasia try to say that they have good intentions, that they want to show mercy to a suffering person, and reasoning of that sort, but in ethics, Intentions aren't even a factor unless the action itself is a good action, and this action clearly isn't. Furthermore, it could be argued that the intention of the person doing the euthanizing is not a good intention, namely, that the intention is for the person to die, regardless of their reasons for having that intention. Lastly, there is a worldview underlying this notion of a merciful death that is wrong-headed on several levels, the view that temporary pain is in some way worse than permanent death. Do people experience more happiness once they're dead? I suppose that depends on where they end up, and we have no way of knowing that. Do they benefit in some way from dying? Not as far as I can see. Now, a person's death can have meaning, but their life is far more valuable and meaningful. Even a painful life is better than no life at all. There's just no reasonable way to defend euthanasia. It's murder, and it's morally unacceptable. Next time, what about abortion? Is abortion murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.